Hey friend, Graham Cochran here, seven-figure business owner and fanatical user of the online business platform, Kajabi. In this video series, I'm gonna walk you through over 31 days how to do everything you need to do inside of Kajabi, from launching products, to sending marketing emails, to creating webinars, to scaling and automating your online business so you make more while working less. It's all here. Now, if you don't already have Kajabi, you're in luck. I want to get you access to a 14-day free trial using my link, grahamcochran.com slash Kajabi. But not just the free trial because you can get that anywhere. I want to give you two free mini courses just by signing up with my link. One, you'll get the moment you join called Ready, Set, Kajabi, which walks you through hand in hand how to launch your business with Kajabi, including some of my best ninja marketing tactics that I use on the regular. You get that the moment you sign up with my link. And then if you become a paying member of Kajabi after the trial, I'm gonna send you a free sales copy formula mini course, my three-step sales copy formula to help you sell more products to more people effortlessly. It's all for free if you just sign up for Kajabi using my link at grahamcochran.com slash Kajabi or I'll link to it below. Today I'm going to show you how to send out your live webinar to your audience and launch it with Kajabi. Hope you're ready to dive in. I'm Graham Cochran and this is 31 Days with Kajabi. If we click on the webinar itself, this is the actual event that Kajabi created when you click the pipeline. If you don't know where your events are, let's just show you, let's back out of the pipelines. Under marketing, there is a section called events, and there is that event. You didn't even have to go into the event section, it was just created for you inside of the pipeline. But what is the event? Well, it's literally a time <laughs> and that's it. Around that time and that name, they have some actions. And so they already have some emails set up. There is an email for congrats, you just registered. There's an email that starts an hour before the webinar, an email for 15 minutes before the webinar, and an email a day after the webinar. What I would recommend for you is that you would not only tweak these emails, but depending on when you promote this event, how much further in the, the past that you promote it before the, the webinar goes live, you might want to create a few more emails. So if you're going to announce this a week before your live webinar, I might create uh, an email the day before. So you get one the moment you register, one the day before. Hey, tomorrow, just a reminder, make some time tomorrow night at 9 p.m. Eastern, we're going live. The morning of, the hour before, the 15 minutes before, as many reminders as you possibly can never hurt. So you can just click on these emails and you can tweak all the, tw the, the data in them. You can say different subject lines. You can put, here's your special link. All of this is pre-written for you so it knows what page to send people to, where the live event's gonna happen. And when they go to that page, there's gonna be nothing but a countdown timer. You can add a countdown timer, I should say. You're, they're not gonna see the live stream. It won't show up until the appropriate time. So you wanna tweak all these emails to kind of have your voice. And then I would add a few more emails after the event that pitch your product. So they have just one email by default, ready to make a decision. And this is just linking people to the sales page now, right? And talking about, hey, it was a great training. If you missed the training, we talked about a few different things on that training, including an amazing offer we gave you. We had a free bonus guide if you stayed to the end of the webinar. So this is really your launch. So one email is not enough in my opinion, but I would have one the day after, the two days after, and maybe at least three days after with a couple of emails on that third day, just really promoting that offer. Some people ask about replays. Should you have a replay? You certainly can. If that's the case, I would take the recording of your webinar, which will be on YouTube. You can download the video after the fact and upload it as a video at the top of your sales page. And so you can use uh, these emails after the webinar training for people who didn't make it or for people who missed part of it, or just as a reminder, hey, you can watch the replay of the training. It's only gonna be up for the next you know, 72 hours or 48 hours and just embed it on the sales page so that they can watch the replay where it has a sales page, a sales pitch in it. But they also can scroll down 
down and see your sales pitch. So you can add emails easily and say, this is a day after the event, two days after the event, a day before the event. It's all tied around the event and it's all automated for you. So this is really, really important. And if you wanna get really deep, you don't have to, you can add automations. You can add interesting automations. Like you can add a tag, tag people who register for this event or tag people who open this email or whatever you want. You can get kind of crazy with automations, but you don't have to. At its simplest, these emails are preset and they're gonna send people, again, here's 15 minutes before the event, sending people to the same link that they need to go to. And that link, all they have to do is go, wait till it goes live. It's gonna automatically refresh when you're live and they can enjoy the webinar. And all you do is go live on YouTube. So let's go back to the pipelines just so you can see this one more time. This registration page, once you tweak it, is the one you're going to promote to your, your people. Come to my free training, come to my free training, register, register, register. The confirmation page is a thank you, check your inbox. The webinar room is already tied to our YouTube live stream. And then this sales page, you can ignore if you already have one, or you can use this to build your sales page and connect it to whatever offer you want to sell. And of course, all the emails you can tweak or add or remove, and you're good to go. You can see how easy this is. It was all pre-built for you, and you can use YouTube to get your live stream set up so that when it's ready to go, you just go live. And, and let me just say, going live is awkward. It is uncomfortable at first if you haven't done it, but it's no different than Facebook Live or an Insta Live, you're just showing up, you're you're loving on your 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 students and your your followers, you're acknowledging them by name and you see them in the chat. You're you're having that that connection that a sales page or sales video doesn't have. That even a video like this doesn't have. When it's live, it's different. There's energy, there's a connection. It's people actually attending a real event in the moment. So it's a really, really powerful moment. When you welcome people into that webinar and you just you just make them feel special and you get into to the training, make sure you are prepared for some actual teaching. You can use slides, but you don't have to. You can just have notes on your computer screen that you're referencing on a piece of paper, but teach, teach, add value, like actually make it a real live training. The problem with webinars is again, people have just glorified a sales pitch by calling it a live training and that's manipulation. We don't wanna do that. You can have a sales pitch at the end, but actually give a live training first and then pitch at the end. And remember, people aren't going to all attend or even if they register, they're not gonna come. And even if they register and come, they're not gonna stay for the whole thing. So don't assume people saw the whole thing. Don't assume that everyone that registered is even gonna come. That's why the replay is so helpful and that's why having some follow-up emails to make sure people saw the recording of the training is helpful, but don't leave the live training up forever. Make it go away. That creates some urgency and it gets people to open the emails and gets people to watch the video, you know, the, the webinar training, and it gets people to hear about your pitch so you can have a real launch and actually sell some product. But what it also does is it gives you then the ability to use that training that's now gone as an auto webinar in maybe an evergreen email sequence later, which I'll talk about in a follow-up video. Thanks so much for watching today's video. I hope you found it helpful. Don't forget, if you want to jump on the free trial of Kajabi and get up to two amazing free bonus courses from yours truly, just go to grahamcochran.com slash Kajabi and sign up today. That's it for today's video. I hope to see you tomorrow as we dive deeper into Kajabi and help take your business to the next level.